Guys, so I am now headed to Melrose because I'm gonna go pick up a few things and I'm probably gonna go to Rodeo because I got a really big deal and I'm probably gonna go get one of those Gucci things that I wanted because I wanna reward myself for what I just got and I'm not gonna like say anything because it's supposed to be a secret so I can't say anything. However, I did throw on the same outfit I wore last night because I only wore it for like two hours, three hours and I'm in a hurry so I don't have time to like try to find an outfit so I'm just wearing like literally the same thing but it's like, it's whatever. I just have to go run some errands and that's about it. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I have this tripod thing that's gonna be suction cupped to my window so maybe we'll do like a drive with me. I'm now on Melrose. I have to go into Wasteland and then a few other places. I'm gonna go look for a few things. I'm super excited to take you guys with me, so let's go. So I found this Burberry shirt for only $22. I have this exact same thing in white and I spent like $200. Found Gucci here for only $100. So I've got a few things that I need to try on and then a few that I have like yet to try on, but I'm gonna try them all on and do like a try on thing for you guys and see if it works. Okay, so this first jacket is Batman and it is $1,800. I'm not loving it. It's way too poofy and I cannot move. So, you know, gotta love that. I have no idea what it says on the back, by the way. This bomber jacket's a lot more manageable. This is Burberry, it's 400. I still don't love it. I feel like it's really just not worth the money. There's a lot of weird pockets. If it was just like a plain black leather jacket, I'd probably say yes, but I'm just, it's not worth it. It just is weird. This is my favorite one so far, however. It kinda does not fit me at all. My hands are here. It's sad though, because I love it. It says Batman on the back. It's like a raincoat and it's only 175 so I would definitely get it if it actually like fit. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does this, does this look like it fits? Because it doesn't to me. This is literally my favorite thing I've put on so far. It's this Amiri jacket. It is so freaking soft and comfortable. Like, oh my gosh. And I love the color, but it's $1,000 and that's the price of the Gucci bag I want, so I'm definitely not gonna get it. But I just, I love it so much that it's like, should I? Should I? So I've been looking for a Saint Laurent hoodie for so long. If this one's on sale for only $400, which is insanely a good deal, because look, it still has the tags on it, and it was originally $7.90. So I'm gonna get this because it is my size. I know that's a lot, but like, I'm freaking out because I love hoodies so much. But like, guys, it's a really good deal. Like, you can get brand new freaking designer for so cheap. It's insane. But like, I'm definitely getting this just because it's my size and I love hoodie. This one is Alexandra Wang. It's a t-shirt. It says no after parties this season. It is, let's see, how much is this? Let's find out. This one is $98, which is a good deal, I guess, but I'm probably not gonna get it because it's, I don't need it and I'm getting this hoodie. So it's like, gotta save some money somewhere. Guys, I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. It says friends on the back and then it says fake friends with like the Fendi logo. And I was like, oh my God, how um fitting for my lifestyle right now. So um, it is $38. Okay. I have no idea what brand it is, but I don't care because I'm still gonna get it anyway. It's a really good deal. Guys, they have Chanel here for only 200, but I'm pretty sure that it's fake. So I wouldn't buy the Chanel because it's over here and not in the glass cases. So I would not buy that. They have Balenciaga sock boots and Saint Laurent shoes. Like, hello. They have Batman sock shoes and I want them so bad. Guys, I was walking past the store and I found this jogger like track set thing they don't have my size in the bottom so this is the next size up it like fits but it's like irritating because it's too long but the jacket i kind of like if like the top part would flip down properly i don't know it's like 30 dollars each so i don't know i'll think about it this place is trying to like push things down my throat so i'm gonna leave because i don't want anything they keep giving me and i'm kind of irritated it is so freaking hot i don't know why i'm wearing this this is a very bad decision i should have worn something different I'm literally like dying. I'm like walking to try to find a store that I drove past and I can't find it. So wish me luck. Okay, so I never found the place I was looking for and I can't find anything that I want. So I'm gonna go try to find a wildflower case and like checkered because I really want one. And I'm gonna try to find one in store so I don't have to order one online. And then I'm gonna go to Rodeo to pick up a hanger from Saint Laurent and then go get some stuff from Gucci and Balenciaga. Oh my God, guys, it's so hot. I'm like drenched. It's like driving me crazy. I don't know if you're gonna hear me over the air conditioning, but like I need to pull my car down. It's literally like, I don't know if you can see that. It's a hundred degrees. I'm like freaking dying. But I have a few places I have to go, and that's about it. I really need a freaking Taco Bell, like, freeze thing, like, because I'm dying. So I'm going to go to Taco Bell and get myself one of those watermelon freezes since yesterday I didn't get one, sadly. But I'm going to do that after I go pick up a phone case. I found a place that sells wildflower cases, so I'm going to go in there, and then we'll see if we can find a wildflower case. And I also found the place that I usually buy my Yeezys from, so I'm going to go in there and see if they have any new shoes. So the place with the wildflower cases was a complete bust. They did not have any cases at all. And then the shoe place, they didn't have any shoes of my size, so that was depressing. But they did have the Louis Vuitton pocket organizer, and they were selling it for $2,000. And I was like, 
No, I'm not gonna buy that for the price of a bag. Sorry, I bought mine for like $250 and I sold it for like $300. It's really not worth that much. Sorry, hun. Bye bye. So I'm gonna go to, um, there was this place that I went shopping at in Pasadena the other day and there's another one right over here. So I'm gonna turn around and go back to that and give that a shot. So this is like an oversized shirt. It says famous on the back and on the back it says some weird thing about Kanye West. I don't know, I kind of like it. Adidas, it's $33. I kind of like it. It's like a t-shirt dress style thing. This is Yeezy season three. It is $250. It's like a cute t-shirt dress style thing. It's like an oversized hoodie. It's really comfortable, actually. This is Givenchy. I actually really like it. It's got the all-seeing eye and stuff on the back. Real eyes, real eyes, real lies. And I'm like, um, what better thing to relate to? Hello. This is a Valentino jacket. It's originally 1500. It still has the original tag, actually, if I can reach it. Uh, but they're selling it for 400, so it's a really good deal, but it's not my size, so I'm not gonna get it. So as you guys saw, they had a ton of stuff, but I didn't really feel like getting any of it. It wasn't really me. And then they had like a $50 Louis Vuitton key holder, which was the exact one I wanted. It was only $50, but it was so old and like damaged. Let me just not walk in the middle of a car. Um, let's not do that today. So that's pretty much the tea. Now I'm gonna walk. So I'm going back to the car and then I'm going to Rodeo Drive. Gotta pick up a few things. I went to this store that I went to before thinking that I'd find a good deal because everything is usually a good deal, but actually everything is full price and that's not really what I thought it'd be. But it's really cool. They sell a lot of limited edition stuff and I'm now about to leave. It's called Mortfield, I think. So I'm headed to Rodeo now. You guys can't even see me. Just got to Rodeo, gonna go to Gucci Balenciaga, I got St. Laurent, and then I have no idea where else I'm gonna go, so we'll figure all that out. In the meantime, I'm going to go walk down the stairs and head to, I think, Balenciaga first. Cause I'm gonna go find me some sock boots. Ones that look like socks. Decided to head over to Cartier and pick up something. So I'm super excited and I haven't had one of these in forever. So I'm gonna get one of these. Hello. Decided to pop into Cartier, picked up a few things. I tried those cookies that James Charles had in his vlog. And oh my God, they're actually amazing. I had them put a ton in my bag cause I really needed some. So now I'm gonna go into a Balenciaga and look for those sock shoes. Guys, I went into Balenciaga and this hoodie I'm freaking living for. It's only $8.50. Oh my god. I want it so bad, but I just bought the Saint Laurent one, so I'm probably not gonna get it. And then these pants are like workout pants that say Balenciaga on the butt. They're $8.95 and I'm living. Well, living for it. Guys, look at them. Hello. Hello. Hello, babies. I've wanted you for so long. Oh my god. So I might finally get them because they have my size. I was gonna try them on with the outfit, but you know, I already took the outfit off by the time he brought it to me. But I want them so bad. This freaking company came out with pants that are also heels. Whoa. Do I look like a Balenciaga bitch with my center shirt? Not gonna get this either, but I like what it says. Hey. I want to get like a camera bag and I kind of really like this. It's cute. It has like this thing on the bottom. The I don't know. Bag. I love it. I Guys, I really like this. It's super cute. It matches my aesthetic. It's only $1,090. So like maybe I'll get this instead of the Gucci and it fits like everything I needed to fit. And it's really soft, really light. There's this weird handle and like this pocket on the back. I kind of really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think or should I get the white one? I'll probably get the black. But like, let me know what you guys think and then I'll get one. Okay, so they also have the like shopping bag style bag that works cross body, but like, I kind of like this one better. But what do you guys think? And then I'm gonna get one, but I wanna know your opinion first. I found this backpack at Balenciaga. It matches my aesthetic, it fits my laptop. It's so much cuter than the Gucci one and it says Balenciaga on it. I'm kind of like living. So like, let me know what you guys think. This one or the Gucci? I kind of really like this. I went to Gucci and I'm living for the Gucci one. This is actually $100 more and it's like kind of cute, I guess, but my favorite wallet on a chain is still the Dior one that I used to have. So I might just get another one of those. I'm trying to find like a camera bag and this one I like too. It's like also my aesthetic, but I'm still feeling, I think the only one that really like makes my heart sing that I really, really love is the Balenciaga one, even over the Gucci, it's weird. So I went to Gucci and I looked at the backpack and a few other things and you know, even the backpack doesn't make my heart sing. Like I don't love it. I thought I'd love it and I just, I don't. And the wallet on the chain, like the same thing. Like I really just thought I loved it. And for some reason, like 
I tried it on and I looked at it and it's like, I don't really have a use for this. Like the only one I've ever actually loved is the Dior one that I had. And then the black and white petite mall from Louis Vuitton that I used to have. Sadly, that's discontinued. I'll never find that again and it got stolen. So my heart got broken that day because it was my favorite ever and it's the one I took to Paris. But, um, you know, it's just, it's weird because I thought I would love it and I didn't. Like, I just didn't. I don't know what was up. The one that I can't get off my mind is the Balenciaga, which is the weird part because I had just seen that. But it's my favorite colors. It was super soft. It was the exact thing I needed. It was the perfect size, like everything. It was like weird. I don't understand like why my mind is in this mindset. So like, let me know what you guys think of the Balenciaga because it is perfect. It's exactly what I need. It's the perfect size that I need. So just like, let me know because I really love it. But the resale value on Balenciaga, I don't really know how well it is. And that's why I didn't get it. But it's my favorite color. It's monochromatic. It's everything I love about it. Why is the radio not turning down? Hello? So just like let me know because my mind, I can't get, I can't get it off of it. So I'm going to do that thing where I wait because they just got it in today. Like first time ever. So I'm going to do that thing where I wait like a week or two and I think about it. And if I can't get my mind off of it, then I will get it. But like I did that about the Gucci and even the Balenciaga backpack. I like better than the Gucci one, which is weird because I think the Balenciaga one is more money because it's leather and the Gucci one's monogram. But like, I don't know. Just, I don't know, my like aesthetic and my mindset's changed. And when I don't know about things, I'm not gonna get anything because it's not like I'm gonna go buy something that I don't love. Like the Balenciaga sock boots that I got, I've wanted forever. So it's like, that I've wanted forever. They finally have my size for the first time in months. And, you know, that was a treat. And then I got a ring. That was a treat. But I had a credit at Cartier. So, of course, that's why I got that. Because I had to get something anyway. And then I got um, the hoodie. And that's because it was a really good deal. And I've always wanted that hoodie. But, like, I might, when I have more money to just spend, get the Gucci's but I don't love them. Like the backpack I like, it's practical, but it's like, even the Urban Outfitters one that I got is fine for now. Like I don't need a backpack. The only thing I really need right now is a camera bag. And that's because I'm like very sick and tired of holding a camera everywhere I go. It's like getting irritating and it doesn't like fit in my pocket. So I'm literally holding it and I have to keep it in my hand like everywhere and I can't really put it down. So that's why I really want a camera bag, but the camera doesn't even fit in the wallet on the chain, but it fits perfectly in the Balenciaga. And it, that also fits everything else I need. It's kind of masculine because it's like a camera bag. It doesn't look that bad. It's like a nice style. Like it's my favorite colors. I really like it. I don't know why I like it so much, but I really, really like it. So I don't know. I'm going to think about it because I don't want to go blow the money and I'm only buying things that I love and that I've wanted forever. And that's like my rule. So I guess today the only thing I actually spent money on was $7 of tax difference on the ring the hoodie and the shoes but those are all things that i really really wanted i didn't even get the thing i needed which was a bag which is the sad part but like i was just gonna buy it i literally walked in like just now and i was like i walked in and i was like what's your return policy because i will literally just buy it and wait for them to answer so that i don't that way i already have it and he's like it's exchange only and i was like oh and i don't want to do that god forbid like i hate it so it's a struggle. Maybe I'll go to Neiman Marcus and see if Neiman Marcus has it. Because Neiman Marcus has a return policy. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Please let me know. I really, really love it. But I don't want to, like... I need someone else's opinion first. Because I, I, my mind was on the Gucci for so long. But then I realized it's not practical for me right now. And it's not what I need. And if I'm going to be using a wallet on a chain, I would just use a wallet and put a wallet in my pocket. Literally, it's impractical for me. I don't have that many cards. I have like two freaking cards. So it's like Not that practical, but like a camera bag. I really need a camera bag right now. So If you and I don't even like the YSL ones and the Louis camera bags. I don't like And that one's leather and it's only a thousand dollars Which I know is still a lot and I could literally just go to Target and get a bag But like this is something I'm gonna be using every day. So I want something that's like really 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 good quality and real leather so if you guys know any other camera bag companies that are real leather that are cheaper let me know because that's all that i want i want like real leather and i want black and white so i don't know 
or else I would just go to Target or Topshop and buy a camera bag, but it's like, this is something I'm gonna be using every single day. So I really want high, high, high quality. And name brands do not mean high quality. That's not what I'm, that's not what I mean. I mean like high quality as in like real leather and like all that. So if you guys like know where I can get a camera bag, if that one isn't good for you guys, like let me know. Cause I would love to hear, I'm all ears. Please let me know. I'm gonna be selling a lot of my designer shoes. I'm gonna be doing a designer shoe haul like or collection and then it'll also be like a sale vlog so if anyone wants to buy any shoes or anything like let me know if i ever show you guys anything in a haul or something like that and you guys want to buy it let me know you can just pay for me and i'll ship it and i'll be like boom done i'll even write a note and send you a kiss because i want to sell some of my shoes so that i could buy so that i i like i hate the idea of just spending money so that's why i don't do it often but um if I'm selling shoes that I don't wear to pay for the shoes I just bought then I feel more comfortable about it rather than just spending money so with that being said if you guys want to buy any shoes like I will literally sell you like $1,500 Giuseppe's for like 100 200 bucks like I'm down I don't need the money right now but I just I want to replace I want to like pay for those without like paying for those you know that's like my rule is that I pay for designer with designer that I don't wear so that's the thing and that's the tea. Also, I'm doing this new thing. This vlog is probably gonna be out after the haul so that you guys already know what I got. Um, but I'm gonna do this thing called Unbox the Tea where we like gossip, we get like a literal teacup and we sit there and drink tea and gossip while we unbox stuff. I feel like it'll be more fun. But watch like a larger beauty guru like steal that idea. So, you know, I just feel like that'll happen. I feel like someone will steal my idea. Like, uh, I'm not gonna say any names. So, yeah, let's go to Taco Bell. Let's do it. I am now at Topanga Mall. I'm headed to Neiman Marcus. Gonna look for that Balenciaga bag just so that I can buy it because I really, really, really want it. I honestly don't know. My mind is all over the fucking place because I want it so bad, but like, it's against my rules to just buy it right now. So like. I don't know what to do so I might just buy it and then wait and then because I'll have like 30 days or 60 days or something like that to return it God forbid I decide that I don't want it so we're gonna figure it out if they even have it we'll find that out soon so they had the backpack in the Marcus and I feel bad because I overworked the sales associate like she literally brought out like every bag and like everything for me so literally like I feel bad but like she's gonna call me if they get the other bag they had the backpack but I, I don't know I can't get that bag off my mind I literally just saw it for the first time ever and I can't get it off my mind like I want it so bad the backpack by the way is 1700 I do like it better than the Gucci one the Gucci one is only 1290 so I don't need a backpack right now and that's why I didn't get the backpack so let me know what you guys think about the crossbody bag because I really really like it I'm going into Louis Vuitton right now and so I'm gonna go off the camera leaving the mall because I realized I spent way too much money today as it is and I really don't I don't want to go over budget. I only spent a like, thousand, which is good for me. Well, a thousand not including credit, so much other stuff. So like that's good for me because like I was just trying to reward myself and like have a fun day. Like I've made enough to the point where it wouldn't matter. So that's why I did that. But I really want that Balenciaga bag like so freaking much. I love the backpack too, but the Urban Outfitters backpack is the literal same thing with pleather and it doesn't say Balenciaga on it. It's less comfortable by a lot, but like, you know, I don't really need that backpack. I need a crossbody bag that can hold a camera because I'm sick of just holding the camera and it's just getting irritating. So that's why I need that. I really want that bag and then I also really want a wallet. I really like the B card holder that I put on my story. Okay, again. Um, I'll insert a picture like here or here or somewhere. I also really love that Balenciaga outfit Like I can't get that off my mind. I don't understand why Balenciaga is like on my mind right now Like I really kind of want the hoodie leggings. I can pretty much get anywhere. So like that I wouldn't need but like the hoodie I really like so I don't know. I'm like stressed because I don't want to spend a lot of money I've got bills. I'm an adult adults have bills You can't just spend every dime you make it's like stressful <sighs> Let me know what you guys think about the bag. I obviously would get the crossbody bag right now, but like the backpack, I'm not gonna get that immediately. Oh, also, uh, some people like everyone loves Balenciaga more for bigger, but like a lot of people like the Gucci backpack. If I got a Gucci backpack, it'd be the smaller version and probably a beast on it just because I like that one. But, um, you know, 
stressful because I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. I rewarded myself a little bit. Like, I got a few things. You guys will see that already because it'll be up before this. But, you know, I'm just, like, stressed. Like, I've got the money, but, like, if you can't buy something three times, don't buy it. Which, I could buy it three times. But, should I is the question. I also have to go, I have to sell my other Birkin, my blue Birkin. I don't want it anymore, not to the point where like I don't want it, like I love it so much. Like I got it in Paris, I got it at the flagship store, it means so much to me, but like it's just too big and it's impractical and it's like I'd rather have the money at right now. I can always go back to Paris and make more memories and it's more or less the memory that's important to me and not really the fact that I got the, not like not the bag itself, it's the memory. So it's like I'll always have that memory. I'll always have the unboxing video, the memory, the video of me in the store. Like I'll, I'll never forget that memory and how I felt. But like the bag just right now is impractical to me. And that bag I can buy, like I can pay off my car pretty much with that bag. So I could just sell that and that's what I can pay the crossbody bag with. And then I could just go to Europe or something. I don't know. I want to start spending money on experiences and not stuff, you know? And it's like I've got bills that I'm paying. So it's like I have the money, but like, should I buy things is the question. Don't buy things you don't need unless you've got like an abundant amount of money. That's pretty much where I'm at with that. Because a lot of people like to say that I'm broke. And I'm not broke. I just know how to save money. Thank you. Oh my god, I really love my middle finger ring. I'm like living, I'm freaking living because it matches like my rings over here too. I don't know, guys, I don't know. I can't get that bag off my mind. Literally, I walked into the Balenciaga store and within half a second, I walked over to it and I picked it up and I put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, this is cute. And then I asked about the outfit and then I asked about the shoes. And then I went and tried it on again. I put all my stuff in it. I videotaped a few guys and I asked about the backpack. I love the backpack too. But like that crossbody bag, I saw it the second I walked in the store and I really, really want it. And I don't know, it's just perfect. It's exactly what I need. Like, I have never found a bag that's literally exactly what I need. It's not feminine. It's my aesthetic color wise. It's an everyday bag I can wear. It's not overly expensive. Like it's actually really, really cheap for what it is considering it's full leather. And it's like just, it fits everything you need. It's perfect for an everyday bag. Like, I don't know, it's just perfect. Like it's literally perfect. I don't know. I just don't know. It's so stressful. <sighs> Let me know what you guys think. I think I'm gonna go to a movie and like de-stress my mind. Either that or I'm gonna go home and clean and film. One of the two. But you guys will find out shortly. So I decided to go to Taco Bell and it's a fun experience. And by fun experience, I mean I ended up on the side of the road with zero gallons of gas in my car and you know, it won't start and it keeps turning off. So it's a blast. It's been fun. It's been real. I've been here for about 30 minutes and Taco Bell closes in 34 minutes and I'm very sad about that. And I'm hoping that I make it to Taco Bell. Luckily, my friend is bringing me gas. So that is the benefit to everything. Sad point is that I literally completely got distracted over Taco Bell and forgot to get gas even though when I left my house, I knew I needed gas and I literally was like, oh wow, I need gas. Well, look at where I am now on the side of the road trying to go to Taco Bell. So, talking to your stepmom. Talking to my stepmom. It's been a blast. It's been fun. I really just want a freaking taco. See you guys later. It's a blast. Literally zero miles. Some random thing is on my screen, but my friend is now here, so I'm so excited. Yay, I can go to Taco Bell. So I'm now getting gas. It's been a fun experience. This was like a really fun time, and by really fun time, I mean not at all a really fun time. I was literally waiting for an hour. At least I got to talk to my mom for like two or three hours, but she's the reason that I don't have gas. So now we're gonna get gas, and then boom, done, here we're going. Let's do this. By the way, Taco Bell is like right there and I'm so excited. So I just went to this Taco Bell KFC thing. I wanted this one because I've never had KFC before. I'm not in focus, hello. And I saw Trisha and Shane eating KFC and I was like, oh, I've never had that. I love mashed potatoes and fried chicken. Let me get some. So I got me some KFC and then I got Taco Bell. I was very irritated because I waited an hour for Taco Bell, as you guys know, and they didn't even have what I wanted. <laughs> they didn't have a cheese quesadilla. They didn't have or like a chicken and cheese quesadilla. They didn't have any freezes. They didn't even have Baja Blast, but they have pictures of it. I was like, um, do you have freezes? They were like, no, not here. I was like, well, do you have a Baja Blast? And they're like, no. And I'm like, you've got pictures of it. They're like, yeah, but we only have pictures. I'm like, 
what. So I got a regular large Mountain Dew and I'm waiting. It's gonna be a four minute wait for my chicken and I waited so long for this freaking food. And I would have gone to a different Taco Bell, but like I really wanted to try the KFC. I've never had it before. And you know, that's because I did a new video style yesterday or whenever this video is going up. The the unboxing, the unbox the tea was my new video style and um, it's a mukbang mixed with an unboxing, mixed with me eating and spilling tea. So, you know, a lovely video style that I'm doing now, it's great. And that's gonna pretty much be the new exposing series. This is my mukbang unbox the tea thing. It's like the exposing series is gonna end, unbox the tea is gonna start, boom, we are ready to kick this off. So, with that being said, I'm gonna wait for my food because I'm really, really hungry. But I have gas now, so that's a benefit. I've got 309 miles now. Let's wait for food. Hey guys, I just got home. It's 6 a.m. on Friday now. Uh, left on Thursday. So I got uh, a fun, I was like begged to go out clubbing with everyone because like I just haven't seen everyone in so long. And everyone's begging me and I kept saying no and then finally enough people begged me that I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, I'll go. That was a mistake. So I got threatened there by someone, I'm not allowed to say their name or anything like that. Because if I ever talk about them again, they will kill me and bait me and... What's the word? Destroy my career. Oh yeah. So physically and emotionally and verbally threatened by someone. Can't say anything about it though. Fun. Really, really, really fun. I was literally so scared that I was shaking. Like, shaking. So, I've been meeting in two hours that I have to be at for that project I was talking about. So this is a blast. A literal blast. So I'm literally not going to sleep, even though I'm so freaking tired. Instead, I'm going to edit a video. And actually, I have like three or four videos to edit, and that'll be that'll be fun. I ended up going to some after party. It wasn't an after party. It was a weird like swingers party. And you know, it was because my friend wanted to talk to this guy, so we had to all go with him, all of all of my friends. And I was supposed to go home in bed because I had a for a meeting in two hours. Instead, I stayed up all night. What a blast! So. That's my punishment. I have to do a bunch of editing, and that's it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me and all the stuff we did today. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And don't forget, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Christian Aaron. Follow me on Snapchat and Twitter, Christian T. Aaron. And I will see you guys next time. Share and press that bell. I love you guys so, so, so much. Bye.